Hello everyone, so it is time for a pretty beefy update video of what's going on here because uh, there's quite a lot going on, you know? We've got the YouTube side of things, we've got the game development side of things, they're both growing real good, and today they're going to be growing more because we are hiring, so if you want to work with us, then, uh, well, this is, uh, this is probably the video to watch, and also I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of an update on Patreon stuff, and a quick update on game dev as well, because, uh, yes, there are projects in the works, and uh, it's all going pretty cool. Now, you might be wondering, uh, why are we hiring? Uh, the reason's pretty simple. We want to do more cool shit, and uh, if you're going to be in the business of doing cool shit, you're going to need a team to do that cool shit with. And that's uh, essentially what we want to be bolstering up. And uh, yeah, this is the announcement video for that. So let's kick it off with talking about the job role that we're currently going to be hiring. And that is a marketing lead. And that is primarily for YouTube. So titles, thumbnails. You'll be the wizard of titles and thumbnails. You'll be working alongside myself and Matt, who is our producer, to create compelling stuff for the videos that earns us that click. And uh, this is stuff that is seriously important. And right now it takes up a lot of our team's time and a lot of my time. And that often means that we can't always do a great job. So with somebody on the team to push this side of what we do further, it will be far better structured. That's going to mean that as an overall operation, it's, you know, it's that situation of everybody is wearing too many hats, then things aren't really done as well as they could be. So with somebody on board who is actually leading this stuff, you know, who can be my boss when it comes to this stuff once we're all up and running. Do you know what that's going to lead to? That's going to lead to more content. I mean, like, this is this is the, sort of the sad bit. So there's, you know, because there's so many things to do, I basically end up doing so much in the realm of, like, titles and thumbnails and sort of testing the marketing strategies and all that stuff for videos that... Uh, it just means I get less time to write, I get less less time to record, and it means that we don't actually make as much content as we could. Now, this is a role for both of our channels, so we're going to need somebody who, like, you know, like our team, knows Warcraft like the back of their hand, but also has got a finger on the pulse of the broader games industry. So that's one big push, but of course, there's going to be a lot more. So within that job role, there's also social media. I mean, I kind of suck at it, and there's so much more that I would like to do there. There is sharing cool screenshots, you know, tidbits from the alpha and the beta, providing, like, actual real value to the people who follow us. Then, of course, you know, getting our videos out there more. And there's lots of little things like, you know, nice screenshots from the game, stuff where I'm going around the game and think, oh, God, we need to share this with people. But, you know, I've got several million other things to do. So having someone who can actually lead this side of what we're doing would be a real game changer. And what it would really translate to at the end of the day is more cool stuff for our audiences, more videos and, uh, you know, more stuff supporting those videos. And also there's the community management uh, aspect of things. So that would apply over on Patreon where we do quite a lot of things uh, over there. There's a lot of posts, there's a lot of engagement, there's a lot of chatting with, uh, you know, with our most dedicated uh, members of the community. And then there's also game development stuff. I mean, right now we've got uh, six core staff all in development roles. There's, uh, there's gonna be additions there um, pretty soon. And, uh, you know, it's that sort of thing where even at the game development side, you know, it's all work, right? It's all game development work. There's not that much time uh, actually spent into, you know, taking a GIF of something to show you what we're working on or things like that. So once YouTube stuff is shored up, what, uh, you know, what we also want for this new job role that we, um, that we have going on is for that person to also be helping out slotting into the game development team, helping us there to execute and, uh, you know, sort of develop and execute on marketing strategies, on community. So that would be us, you know, giving you, uh, you know, giving you builds of, um, the projects that we're working on and, uh, you know, take out some of the characters, take some of the art, put it together and, you know, actually get that campaign going. I mean, seriously, like roles like that are so important. Just look at Fall Guys and what the Fall Guys CM was able to do in Twitter. I mean, it was some staggeringly good stuff. And hey, past that, the sky is, uh, is the limit, right? So look, these are the things, they're tasks that we need to get done. But as an organization, you know, we're all about decentralized command. We're about focusing on what the unique things that each team member can bring to the table based on their passions. And uh, this means that, you know, when it comes to developing new plans and executing them, well, there's there's room for that, right? This is not, a, this is never an org where, you know, people come in to be cogs. Everyone's a valued member of the team. So look, if you're passionate about World, uh, World of Warcraft, 
game industry news and you just want to execute on some cool shit, then we want to hear from you. Now, if you are local in Northern Ireland, then definitely hit us up. If you're not, still hit us up. I'm seriously interested in remote for this role as well. I mean, hey, it is how most of us have been working for uh, for a few months now. Uh, now, if you're actually, you know, if you're really in for this, uh, check out down below. There are details for what this job listing uh, job listing is, and just a few like tests and things that uh, you know we would like um, we would like to see. So you can find that down below on our jobs page. Okay, the next up, Patreon. So of course, it is a new month. That does mean a new set of tasty loot on the Patreon. It is Monk Month. Uh, you know, we're sort of going off like the fantasy classes for um, for a month. So you can get the uh, the monk uh, pin there's also the sticker the bestiary the um, you know the art and also of course the um, the bookmark which is real fun as well and uh, to the patrons i mean you guys seriously seriously are helping us out in uh, in doing things what i like about the patreon as well is you know because we do have an art team uh, we can you know make things and give you know, sort of give back to you right so that uh, yeah, you know, there's cool things to go on your wall, there's pins to wear or put in your bag, stuff like that. And really with that, I think as you can tell from what we're doing in this video and just everything, it's directly helping us both in terms of game development and, uh, you know, and on, on YouTube as well. We're able to grow the YouTube team, we're able to grow the game development team. On game development, I mean, we are ready to just floor the pedal and just race. Uh, you know, we've um, we basically, you know, we've spent a lot of time, you know, for, for me, I didn't want to just jump into crowdfunding when it came to game development really early. It's something, you know, we, we, we obviously have an audience, right? So we're probably more able to do a Kickstarter if we wanted to than most, but I thought it was really important to uh, not chase uh, not chase the money, to actually take it slow and uh, to, to build up the team, to get the capacity we would need. And I think very importantly, to de-risk everything. And when I, you know, when I talk about de-risking, for me, that's like, just knowing how everything's going to work, having a rock solid production plan, the sorts of things that, you know, are not always super well solidified. I mean, even, uh, let's just say I've seen um, projects get funded by publishers uh, sort of based on not not doing pre-production, not having a proper, you know, setup going, and it really does, does suck. And that's not what I want for our staff. And it's also something where I don't want to race into any sort of crowdfunding situation for a video game or anything like that uh, before we're at a stage where, you know, even if it, does cost us a bunch more to do it this way. And, um, you know, things are de-risked and it actually all does make good sense. So, I mean, man, the Patreon has been so helpful, um, you know, so helpful with all of that. It truly is, look, it truly is a situation where what do we do with that revenue? We reinvest it into our uh, into our operation. That is, that is really the core here. And um, I mean, yeah, like... <laughs> It's getting to the stage. There's quite a few people. Uh, okay, they're not around the office now because you know we're we're not at full capacity. There's you know work from home and all of that. But whew, things uh, things are scaling up, and it really is getting quite exciting. Now, on that, there is a little big a uh, little bit of game dev talk that I want to do. It's that sort of thing where you know the reason why I do, basically it's that thing where. I know, until we actually show stuff where you are all obviously like, ah, yes, there clearly has been a team of whatever amount of people working in this for whatever period of time. This is a real thing. Until I actually show stuff, then nobody's really going to, you know, they're not going to believe that, or maybe they'll logically believe it, but they won't feel it because they've not seen it, which, I, you know, I totally do understand. But as I hope you understand from the last, like, few minutes of this video, a lot of that has just been an abundance of caution, trying to do it right, and trying to learn. So, uh, yeah, you know, like, for... You could say for the largest game that we're uh, the work, uh, we're working on, which uh, I do believe is six to eight hours, potentially a little bit more, probably a decent bit more if you're putting in the re uh, the replayability factor. You know, we're over 140,000 words of that script. Uh, the script is now at the stage where we're just building the entire game. And once the entire game is built, that's when, you know, there'll be just a lot of targeted polishing and tweaks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so that's... That's the pale beyond. You know, we've we've mentioned it. There's a little bit in our Discord about it, but we're we are holding off on doing any sort of full reveal there until we know exactly how we're going to bring that, uh, you know, to actually bring that out. Now that is going to be things like you know considerations such as do we go with a publisher, which would certainly have its pros and its cons. Do we go in a self-published route, perhaps with um you know some crowdfunding and maybe some help from you know sort an an ice cream, it's like a local you know one of those like sort of economic development agencies. Uh, you know, that's another way of doing it. That has its pros and its cons. And it's the sort of thing where 
I'm not going to bring that to you because I think, you know, I don't want to get people's hopes up and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to bring that to you until we actually have got a super uh, sort of solidified plan. Now, what I will say there is we're like so close. Um, there is, uh, let's just say the vertical slice is something I am extremely happy with. Um, it is something that I would say emotionally in terms of like the, I've got my headphones on and I'm sort of in the place that I want that game to take me uh, as a person and as like how I would, you know, put my free time into it. The vertical slice is there. And uh, what's really good there is our tech for the entire game. Totally rock solid, all in scope. And uh, that's something where, yeah, we are basically just finalizing the details of how that can actually be properly sort of taken in to the point where we'd be doing the full announcement, you know, the teaser trailer and the blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's kind of where that is. And then there are two other projects um, that are smaller in scope. And I do believe one of those is something that you will see in a very concrete way within the next six months. And uh, that's also one of the projects that uh, so one of our, well, uh, one to two of our new hires are uh, going to be working on as well over in the game development team. And uh, I mean, on that, you know, the core team there is going to be like eight people pretty soon. So stuff's going, stuff's going, and it's getting pretty damn exciting. And it's just that sort of thing where, you know, with that going really well and YouTube, just, I feel like at YouTube, we've just, we're constantly at the precipice of the next level, but we can't quite get there because in this case, there's just some things we need to do. You know, we don't need way more writers and way more editors. What we actually need is operation stuff, you know, such that I have a more clear job role where I am writing and I am reviewing scripts and I am recording. And that's like the core thing that I'm doing that I'm hopping over uh, to help out more in the game development side of things. And where Matt, who's currently our producer, you know, Matt wears so many hats. You guys would not believe how many hats that Matt wears, the amount of wheels that he greases and things that happen because he's sort of there making it happen. But it's the kind of thing where, you know, I need to have a more clear job role. Matt needs to have a more clear job role. And a part of that, and a really major part of that, trust me, is uh, bringing on someone who is more on the marketing and the community management side of things, just because there's a whole bunch of stuff there that we've not been doing that well. We could do it so much better. And we know that if we do that so much better, it is going to be the thing that unlocks the next level. And that uh, truly there are some really damn exciting things on the horizon. We are going to get there. And if you want to be a part of that, bam, the links in the description, check out our job site. And, uh, you know, if you feel like it's a good fit for you, make that application and we would absolutely love to have you on the team. So there we go. There's a bit of an organization update. What's, uh, what's going on with us. I do entirely expect to be making these quite a bit more frequently than, uh, than we have in the past. So that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.